and it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams your young men shall see visions morning brothers and sisters first and foremost I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukakadash, for uh, you know bringing me out, waking me up one more time this morning. This is early in the morning, um, and I woke up around what 5:45, 6 o'clock, and I had a dream, man. So I I just came out here before going to work to, to put this dream on video because you know what we always say, uh, you know, uh, inspire each other. You know, with the dreams and the Lord is pouring the Spirit out on us right now in these in these last days. Uh, I want to uh, give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Uh, salutations to the, all the other brothers out there that's pushing 100% truth and all truth and sincerity. Okay. Um, yeah, man. And last night at camp, wow, man, this brother got shot, man. I don't know if he's alive or not, but wow, you know. So check it out. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make the uh, title of that's obvious so you'll be able to see it okay uh, so okay so the dream was a two-part dream um, the beginning of the dream it was um, I was picking up my children from this babysitter I believe she's like a babysitter and uh, the sky I was looking at the sky I'm like what, what what's that and the sky was going like you know like a bubble um, it's like a bubble, man. Uh, and lo and behold, it it, it was like uh, what do you call it? like a like a it was like a mirage, but but uh, like if you're like a cloak, like a cloaking device or something. So the this whole big cloud uh, and the sky all around it had changed, and it was it was. It was Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai man. It was a humongous, a big, humongous spaceship man. Uh, and I'm gonna draw a picture of it and put it put it there, okay? And uh, so I was like, yay! And I told the girl, hey, look, look, look. And she acted like she didn't, still didn't believe it or, or didn't seem to care. And I said, that's Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai man. And um, so I picked up the babies, and we somehow was in a in somebody's car and like in the back of their car they were giving us a ride or something uh, to meet to meet the wife um, and we're driving and I'm looking in the sky and you can see the the uh, the Air Force at this time and then there was smaller uh, smaller smaller um, angels you know flying around and they were just Kind of like toying with these, with the, with the, with the Air Force man, because the Air Force was turning around. You could see the jets flying and turning around and stuff, and the angels were just like playing with them, like cats play with toys. You know, they was like, like, bam, you know, we can hit you whenever, whenever we want to hit you, but you know, we're just messing around with you. That's what it seems. So it seems like that, man. Okay, so that that was pretty much it of the dream. Uh and I we went somewhere else but I can't remember the second I can't remember that part of when we got to the place but I know I was um, I was very excited about it and and uh, I felt like we were okay everything was okay you know you know I felt like it was all over and everything was okay so alright so then that was the second part of the dream and I don't know it's gotta be so the second part of the dream has to be before this happened, even though it came secondly, because it, I, ooh, maybe not. I'm just gonna say it the way it was, okay? So the second part of the dream is that I somehow am am thrown into this crazy house, man. Yes, a straight up. It's, it, it wasn't like a. It was more of a jail, but I knew it was a crazy house. It was a crazy house, and the lady, the the nurse, I was like, nurse, why, why am I here actually? What, what, you know, what, what, what's going on? And she's like, well, this is not your first time here. I'm like, what? I'm, I'm, I'm not saying no, uh, because I'm, I'm thinking of it as a jail, and I almost feel like I've been there before. 
but not really, you know. Uh, the reason why I say that is I believe it reminded me of the jail that I visited my father in a long time ago. And, and, and actually, just bringing that up, where the where Yahweh Shai and, and the angels had came into play at, that was not where I live at now. It was another place. So could this be me in the dream or somebody else in the dream? You know what I'm talking about? Because it wasn't a, a, a place where I knew of. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a city or a town that I knew of. It was a, like a small country town. They had railroads and everything. We don't have that around here. Um, and so forth. So also with this jail place. Because it looked like it was a rural old jail place. And it reminds me of a jail that I saw when my father was was uh, arrested a long time ago when I was like six or seven. But anyway. Anyway. Um, so the lady told me. The nurse told, told me that I had been in, in, in this crazy house at least nine times, man. And I'm like, what? I said, that's not true. That's not true. You know what I'm saying? I said, I, at least I know I've been here at least once before. That's what I said. Something like that, right? So, somehow, I, f I finally got a chance to call my wife because I still had my cell phone. And... Uh, uh, that's the first thing I asked her. I said, how long, how many times have I been in here? I'm like, I'm like why am I in here? Why? And she had something to do with me being in there, you know. And uh, I'm like, how many, well, how long, how many times? And she said, nine-ish, something like that. So, and I, I in, in the back of my mind, I had it, I'm thinking that this was some kind of setup, my man. Um, to make me have doubt in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, you know. That's that's what it, that was going on in my head because uh, my wife, she's not a believer, you know. So that's what it, that was going on in my head, you know. And that's that's pretty much. And then I woke up and I was like, oh man. So in one way, the dream was. I thought the dream was good because uh, Yahweh Shai and the angel were coming back. But then the other play, in the other way, I thought it was bad. You know what I'm saying? Because of this being, being thrown in jail thing, you know? So, that's about it, man. I'm, I'm gonna, um, that's it. I mean, what, there's nothing else I can say. Uh, but the, the two scriptures come to mind with Michael and the angels, uh, and, and the, and the Satan, the devil being thrown down, you know, out of heaven quickly like lightning. And the second scripture comes to mind is that they will throw some of you in jail. So they're trying to get get me to have doubt of you how about Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Um, you know. So that's it. And uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll see y'all later. So once again, to close it out, I just want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai for, for waking me up. Uh, to the truth and also giving me these these dreams and things because we all know that uh, that that's what he does he pulls out his spirit on us so uh, yeah all right brothers and sisters I'll see y'all later Shalom oh let me give it up one more time for all the elders and apostles of Great Millstone as well you know what I'm saying and uh, for all the Akim out there and all that okay that's doing doing it in the truth and sincerity that that has a the faith you know, keep the faith. Stay righteous, man. Stay on top of it, man. And do our very best. Um, you know, to keep the law, statutes, commandments. All right? The Lord have mercy on us. All right, I'll see you all later, brothers. Bye-bye. Shalom. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulations ten days. Be thou faithful until death, and I will give thee a crown of life.